guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my stripper bag video. So I'm basically just going to be showing you guys the bag that I bring to work and showing you guys all the things inside of it. So if you guys want to see what I bring with me to work, then keep watching. Okay, so this is my bag for work. If you guys saw my shopping haul, which I'll leave the link down below if you guys haven't watched it yet. But I bought my bag for work on my shopping haul and I actually ended up exchanging it and getting this one instead because a lot of people were commenting and telling me that I should have gotten a darker one because it is a bag that I'm going to be using every single day and the light brown or like the cream colored handles tend to turn dark brown if you use them a lot and like the oils on your hands just over time they turn like dark brown so I feel like this bag will end up looking a lot newer and fresher longer like it'll just look better and I'm going to be using it every single day so I think the dark is definitely more suitable for what I'm using it for. Also, when I went to work, I did see a couple girls with that exact same bag, and I never saw anyone with this one, so I feel like this one is just a better fit for what I'm using it for. It's basically the exact same thing, except the like, little things are silver instead of gold, and then obviously the handle and everything is black instead of like the light cream color. So it's still super cute. I actually like this one more because a lot of people don't have it, so it's more like unique. But yeah, let's get started showing you guys what's in my bag. So, it opens up like this. And then, the first thing I have in here are my heels. I usually only bring one pair of heels a time at a time to work. But I do have other ones that I'm going to show you guys. But yeah, I like them because they have like, you know, the little diamonds down there. So when you're on stage, like the light really shines on them. But yeah, they're super cute. They're just like this. And then I'm going to show you guys other ones. Like I said, I usually only bring one pair of heels to work at a time. Sometimes I'll bring two if I'm not sure like exactly what outfit I'm going to wear. But these ones just have like little sparkles on them. But yeah, if I bring everything, it's just like really heavy here. And then this is another pair. And yeah, they do have different heels. You guys could buy like ones that are like the boot heels. And they like support your ankles better and they also sell some that don't have this which some girls use and they tie like a garter around it to hold their foot in place but me personally I will literally kill myself if I try walking in heels that don't have like a strap up here so that's the reason I always buy the ones with the straps and I don't really buy the ones with the thin straps just because I always have super long nails so it's hard for me to like close the buckle you know so that's why I like these ones because the buckle is thick enough for me to close it with my nails and I can walk in them without falling okay so next I'm going to get into the outfits so at my club it's a little bit different with outfits we're not allowed to wear like bikinis lingerie one pieces and things like that and I know at a lot of other clubs you can but at our club it's like a little more strict so it has to be like an actual dress and I'm just going to show you an example of something that I bought before I knew the dress code because I bought this thing and I thought I was going to be able to wear it, you know. See, it still has the tag on it. I've literally never worn it. But it's just like a onesie, like a leotard type thing. And it has shmoney on it. But I've literally never worn this because we're not allowed to wear stuff like that at my job. But I know at a lot of other clubs you can. But I'm going to show you guys the stuff that we have to wear like at my job. So these are just some dresses that I have. Um, okay, it looks funny off, but on. I like these stretchy, stretchy dresses because they really like hug your body you know so they look really good like they make your figure like stand out but okay it looks a little goofy because it's hard to understand like this but this is like the back it's opened and then that's the front like that and then another black dress this one is just like basic leather dress and it has like a really low V cut in the middle, so you know, boobies look good. Um, and then I have these neon dresses, which like light pink dresses and stuff like this are really good at the club because if you've never been to a strip club, it's usually really dark in there, but they have like the like UV lights, kind of like when you're going like mini golfing and like stuff glows. That's how it is in there. So like dresses like this, it really makes you stand out because when you walk around or you're on stage, you're like neon, you know. So, neon colors are really good options if you're looking for dresses. 
I would recommend neon. I usually wear black or neon. So, usually black or pink, to be honest. But, yeah, I also have this one, which I said, really stretchy. So, they're, like, good because they're, like, really tight to your body. So, it makes your body look, you know, real lovely. So, that's what this one looks like. And, yeah. Oh, here goes another dress. Okay, I usually keep a couple dresses in my bag just in case because maybe someone spills something on you and you need to change or just in the, throughout the night you want to change dresses. So I do have other ones, but I usually keep like three or four options just in my bag just in case you never know. But yeah, and then I have this bag which is full of garters and thongs. So as you can see, they're all really bright, like neon colors, like I said. The bright colors stand out on stage. So you want to like stand out, you know? So I'll show you guys some examples of underwears. I like these thongs a lot, and I literally bought them like in every color that I saw them in. So I bought these at my job. Actually, my house mom sells them. But yeah, so when she has them, I literally buy them in every single color because they're so cute. And since they're bright colors, like they, like I said, they shine on stage. But yeah, as you can tell, I really like these underwears because I bought like 100 of them, like in every color. And then we wear garters on our thighs. Every club is different, like I said a million times. Um, Some clubs you have money bags and you literally carry the bag around with you everywhere and put your money in there as you go. But um, at our club, we have garters that we wear around our thighs and then we put our money on here. So we'll just like wrap the money around and then tie it with a rubber band and then just keep it on your thigh. So yeah, I have different ones like this. You know? So we wear these instead of money bags. We wrap our money around the garter and put a little rubber band on it. And then if you do get like a whole bunch of singles or something, you can always just like run to the back when you get off stage and just like put it inside your bag. We don't actually carry a bag around with us. I know some clubs do. And then I have this lotion, you know, so I don't get dry. And then I have this. Which is like where I put all my smell goods and like my sanitary things. Um, all this stuff isn't 100% necessary to bring because you, most clubs, I think all clubs, have like a house mom. And they bring like perfume, lotion, like mints, tampons, like hair straighteners, hair brushes, and stuff like that. So there's always going to be stuff there at the club for you to use in case you forget. So, like, if you forget your perfume or something, you're not, like, out of luck. Like, they're going to have stuff there for you to use. But it's also just good for you to have your own stuff, too, just in case. And because, like, you know, some people just want to have their own stuff, you know. So, I got these. They're just a little, you know, vagina wipes so you don't smell. And some vagina spray, you know. Got to keep it fresh down there. And then makeup wipes. I usually keep these. For like on my way driving home after work and I like wipe my makeup off because when I get home from work I'm so tired and I'm like so lazy to take my makeup off and I know it's like really bad to sleep with makeup on so I just wipe it off before I get home and then I just have a deodorant I try to keep the clear deodorant just because like I said I wear black and stuff a lot so I don't want it on my clothes obviously and then I just have another lotion in here I just throw like random stuff in here and then I also put my makeup in here too and then I just have some hand sanitizers. And then this little perfume. I like to put it behind my ears, you know, because if they get real close to me, they're like, she smells good, you know? And then I have these little Listerine things so my breath isn't kicking. Because you don't want to really chew gum because, like, you don't want to be, like, chomping on gum, like, talking to people or, like, on stage chomping on gum, like, it's just not cute, you know? So it's better to just have, like, either mints or something little like this instead of gum. And then I just have, like, rubber bands in here. Because, like I said, we tie our money in rubber bands and keep them on our garters. So it's always good to have rubber bands. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I usually just bring my outfits and then just, like, stuff to, like, not smell like ass. But, yeah. Um, other things that you can bring, like, hairbrushes. Curling iron, straightener, straighteners. Some people bring like razors and stuff in case you forgot like to shave your armpits and then you realize you're hairy so you gotta shave really quick. Toothbrush, I don't know, some girls eat there because there is like a kitchen there you can eat. 
so they want to like brush their teeth after but yeah like i said if you forget anything your house mom's probably gonna have stuff so you don't have to bring like your entire house but yeah that's pretty much it for my what's in my stripper bag video um like i said i want to do the q a so if you guys have any questions about my job or just like about like stripping in general leave them down in the comment section below because my next video i do want to film a video answering all your guys's questions i have gotten a lot of questions already so i'm really excited for that video and i'm going to get into way more detail about my job and things like that so yeah i hope you guys like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you